Hi guys, one of the most common questions that I'm receiving a lot more these days is what the market outlook will look like for the next six months. Of course, look, we don't have a crystal ball to know exactly what will unfold, but just to give you an idea of what we feel out there live in the marketplace are a few matters. Number one, we see the commercial scene changing quite a bit. We see that these days, because of what has unfolded in the first half of 2020, a lot of businesses and a lot of jobs have actually been relocated from offices or office spaces to actually from home. A lot of business have evolved, they've changed, they've made uh, the options available for people to operate from home. So maybe the necessity for people to have to travel to the city to work, to live close to the city for their jobs, may not necessarily be there or be in the same type of demand as they once was. We've seen a lot of organizations change, even our organization has changed in that facet as well. The ability to, to work from home has changed the landscape, but that's probably gonna be affecting the commercial scene a tad more than the residential scene. Now for the residential scene folks, I've always believed that people buy and sell real estate and most importantly when it comes to lifestyle and their personal needs and I don't see that changing. Whether you're looking at upgrading, uh, downsizing, uh, relocating because of family, whether it be because you're buying an investment property, I think those reasons will still be live in play that that won't change and your decision should be focused in that type of regard. But what may be affected is because of recent changes, uh, whether because of government restrictions and or potential job changes or business and how they've been affected, some people may be postponing their plans. So maybe the amount of volume will be changing because people feel that now is not the right time. If their business, for example, has slightly slowed down a little bit, then maybe they will change their plans not to do something in the immediate future. Uh, maybe they will move it later on down the track. If someone maybe has had their job or occupation being affected and they feel that it's a bit too risky to borrow or leverage more money, then they may postpone their plans. That's what we see probably affecting the residential real estate market. What impact that'll have, I guess only time will tell, but all I know is that it's still going quite strong. Uh, one of the things that is very unpredictable but has been talked about are new government initiatives. So when it comes to stamp duty changes, that's been touted, not yet released, but that's been touted where potentially that could be removed when it comes to residential real estate. That'll be of course massive indeed. That'll cut down the cost of buying property significantly, present new opportunities for people such as investors maybe want to buy homes, renovate it and then flip it without stamp duty. That will significantly reduce the cost when it comes to the transactional side. So that will change the market space potentially in the next six months as well. Banks, they're being very easy at the moment with lending, they're being very friendly, but if of course they tighten up a little bit, that could always affect the market. We don't see that happening in a very immediate short term, but who knows, come six to 12 months time, that could be affected as well. Just keep your mind open, of course, that no matter what, when you're buying or selling real estate, that do it concentrating on your personal circumstance. A lot of these macro factors can affect the financial aspect, but concentrate on yourselves, on your own positions, and do what is best for you. If you like live information, feel free to reach out to myself or ICL Group. Contact us on 855-83000 or go on to icelgroup.com.au.